A YouTuber named Michael JP86 is recording a cemetery late at night to see if anything strange will happen. Sure enough, a mysterious light materializes in the distance. What is that? Is that car stuff over there? At first, they suspect it could be the headlights of oncoming traffic, but when no vehicles drive by, they realize much to their horror that the light is actually coming from within the cemetery itself. According to Michael JP86, the rectangular shape shown here is actually a doorway made of pure light. Watch again in slow motion, and you'll see a small figure run into the doorway moments before the light fades away. If this isn't paranormal, then let me know what you think caused the light to appear, and also what the shadow running into it was. This footage comes from India, where a woman is seen cleaning up at a sink. Suddenly, a dark figure appears behind her and gives her a hard shove from behind. She turns around only to find the room empty and hurries away. While exploring this haunted place, this paranormal crew discovers that entities manifest in the mirrors, published by Albert of the Arch. They search the home when they spy this, while the white object looks spooky at first, hanging there in the hallway when they approach. They find it's a piece of paper posted on a door. As they continue their search and discover a door to an attic above moving on its own. Okay. Bueno, pero eso puede ser el viento. Está en un en este en el exterior, entonces se cuela el aire con eso. Later, while they're all in one room, a shadow passes by a mirror in the adjacent room. No one is there. They don't know what to make of it. Not long after, while they're speaking over a statue of Jesus, a faint scream is heard in the background. Is that scream coming from the entity in the mirror? Sounds like it wants out. Cuando estas energías vienen a la luz, ya no pueden salir. Es se hace como un, una especie de lugar eh, que los bloquea, ¿sí ¿sabes? Mm -hmm. It's late at night when a YouTuber named Single Athel hears something just outside of his home. His curiosity outweighs his fear, and so he takes a camera outside with him to try and find the source. At least one person is sure this is a demon, but a lot of people are saying it's just a fox. Let me know what you hear. This video was taken in December, which does fall in line with the fox mating season. Still, it's kind of strange that the person living here claims to have never heard this before and doesn't know what it is. Here's another clip to help you analyze the source with me. What is that noise? Was this a fox or something much worse? Like the rake. Folkloric creature is insanely creepy. Published to YouTube by Romeo Candid in November of 2007, this clip claims to show a real Maninagal. Some info on this mythical creature. The Maninagal is a traditional and mythical Filipino creature that's likened to a vampire or a witch. The details of this horrible creature's prey are even freaky. Gear. It is said to prey on pregnant women, especially those who are sleeping. New lovers or newlyweds are also prime targets for the Maninagal, which is said to have been abandoned at the altar. Now onto the clip. The video shows a group of people just hanging out in the dark, shining their flashlight everywhere. There's nothing for a while but darkness. That is, until everyone starts screaming as they see this ghastly female creature with black hair and greenish skin appear at a short distance. <laughs> The creature turns to them as they cry out in horror. Many in the comments are rightly freaked out by this. YouTuber Andrew Gibbons offers a first-hand account of the Maninago folktale saying, 
Well, one thing I know for sure that I heard from an elder is that it's an old folk tale to keep kids out of the woods at nighttime. YouTuber Chow Saiso One adds, Some say that they heard it flap its wings while they're in their houses, but who knows, it might just be a bat. He also says that some truly believe that these creatures are real. After watching this video, D, Jonathan FOD and his friends go exploring an abandoned meat processing facility building that everyone in town says is haunted, but the air quotes around ghost seems to mean he doesn't quite believe it. So supposedly, that there's a ghost yes, uh. that runs around here. Soon he will. <laughs> Oh, shit. Hey! Who's here? As Jonathan, FOD, and his two friends are ghost hunting in some kind of tool shed, they get what they think could be some paranormal evidence caught on tape. What the? Bro, you heard that, bro? What the fuck is that? Bro. Is anybody there? Oh. All three of them are on camera when these noises happen. You can see they are just standing there with their hands down so it can't be them. Maybe Jonathan had a fourth person making all of that noise, but I don't see how they could have faked that ghost EVP at 8 minutes and 50 seconds. It really does sound like the muffled voice of a small child. YouTuber Joey Official is staying in the Haunted Queen Mary in room B340. Watch what happens next. I'll never unsee that. Oh, oh, bro, what is going on? Oh my god. Bro, what the hell? What the hell is happening? Room B340 has significant paranormal activity dating back to 1967. Not only does the activity not look staged, but I'm sold that this place is haunted based on their sheer terror. Are you alone in the dark? Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Citizen ZTV. This brave cameraman invites whatever lurks in the darkness to come and say hi. Be careful what you wish for. While wandering through the cemetery, this paranormal device picks up not only noises or greetings, but a figure that appears as though it's stalking him. You can come and say hi. You just gotta go for a wonder. Sorry. The figure looks like it's walking slowly for a moment, then it disappears. Is this just a glitch, or was there something walking alongside this explorer in the darkness? This list is probably making you feel you're as unsafe inside your home as you are outside of it. This entry is no exception. Posted by Borg Burger, this video captures a man who was trying to film inside his neighbor's home. Apparently, the neighbor had been filming inside their home for weeks. The homeowner's girlfriend said that the man often approached her when she was collecting posts and she felt he was creepy. He once offered that if there was anything he could do for her, just let him know. The video shows the man in his own home entering a room across from theirs. According to the video, he picks up his camera which had been charging, positions himself on the floor out of sight, then starts recording from a corner of the window. You can actually see the red light from his video camera appear in the darkness. He peers over the windowsill to see that no one sees him. Then he resumes recording. He is again seen more clearly, standing up to look out the window. Then he ducks back down to resume his peeping position. The man filming or photographing goes on for a solid two minutes and probably longer because this clip seems to have been cut before the man finishes. The clip also shows the man being taken to the station by police. The homeowner said his girlfriend felt incredibly upset as her privacy had been violated. Who wouldn't? 
considering her intuition about this man. This just goes to show that you should always trust your gut. A search of official reports of this invasion of privacy could not be found, so it's unclear whether or not this situation ended in charges being pressed against the culprit. Whatever the case, this one will make you pull your shutters closed and lock them tight. Baba Singh is riding at night when he sees a fluttering figure in white robes at the side of the road. Tell me what he says here at 55 seconds upon contact. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. It looks like it could be a ghost with its back turned to him and possibly floating in midair, perhaps at the very same spot where its life concluded, but I'm not sure. Let me know if you think this video from India is a real ghost sighting or just an encounter with a person dressed in all white. D Menace is a YouTuber from the Ukraine who gets a thrill from exploring abandoned places. He's really pumped to see every level of this old factory because in his mind, the bigger the building, the better the adventure, but little does he know this urban exploration has already gone wrong in a scary way. The abandoned place has a lot of dead-end rooms, not to mention a creepy basement that fills him with unease. He can't even imagine who would ever live down here, but it looks like someone has before. The scariest place in the whole factory has to be this window, because of what he's about to see next. He's coming. D Menace is most likely walking around someone's turf. We all know where there's one creepy stranger, there's most likely more. Perhaps a whole misfit crew who doesn't take kindly to new faces, especially ones walking around with expensive camera gear waiting to get jacked. He soon suspects he's possibly being followed and decides to cut the urban exploration short before something else goes wrong. And it does. On the way out, he sees somebody stationed on the other side of a wall, like they're waiting for him. He accidentally makes a sound and the legs disappear from view. The exit is within sight and he is trying his best to creep along this wall unseen. He is tall and wearing a hat, so he's easy enough to see. Within seconds, a man stands over him, the same scary man he watched from the window. After a tense conversation, he soon learns that they are simply exploring the same abandoned place he is, and probably thought they were being followed. It's a simple misunderstanding, but I can't help but wonder if this was scripted because at 10 minutes and 50 seconds, it looks more like D Menace is trying not to laugh rather than truly being scared. I guess we all react different to fear, so maybe the anxiety from getting caught is what caused this nervous smile. Anyway, the two urban explorers exchange information and agree to go look at more abandoned places together someday. Tell me if you think they knew each other beforehand, because if not, this encounter would have absolutely been terrifying for both parties. This next one will make anyone terrified of exploring the backwoods ever again. Redditor Mutt Magician shares this pair of creepy videos to Reddit. He writes, I was in the backwoods of Oklahoma when I found a random shed full of children's clothes and dolls. Unfortunately, this was all I filmed. The video shows a doll missing a leg and with its head and arms discolored with dirt. It seems like the doll is quite fragile because he breaks it with a small squeeze. The Redditor writes that after finding the doll, he explored further and found an abandoned shed with children's clothes, dolls, and backpacks. In a follow-up video, the Redditor takes viewers to where he found this abandoned shed.
For some reason, I kept expecting a jump scare in this follow-up. Well, I didn't jump. I think this is incredibly scary. What were these dolls there for? Why were they in such disrepair? I have so many questions about this one and very few answers. A YouTube channel called Adventure with Hodge goes on an urban exploration of an abandoned factory and it turns out to be one of the scariest places he has ever explored. Something feels wrong with the creepy location from the very start and they begin to wonder if this place is really abandoned after all. Scary, not gonna lie. The basement feels downright spooky with only one flashlight between them. The urban explorers are too scared to venture far, especially when they discover a creepy message spelling out their fate. You're in his home. Wonderful. I don't like that at all. We just decided to go back in the basement with this hurt home. That was loud. On the basement floor is another haunting discovery in the form of an abandoned jacket. Why would someone leave their jacket down here, Hodge wonders. I personally couldn't help but notice it's kid size, and this is certainly no place for a child. Someone scary must have taken them to this horrible location. Someone twisted and deranged. The two friends are beyond creeped out, but at the same time curious enough to go exploring past the creepy warning on the wall. Bad decision. It's time to go. Time to go. Okay, we're gone. We're gone. We're gone. We're gone. We're gone. We're gone. I'm sorry. Somewhere in the darkness, a heavy object falls over, and the loud, scary noise they capture on tape makes them cry out in surprise and run away while apologizing. This part deserves a closer analysis because it's scary stuff indeed. They are exploring the middle of the basement, nothing within arm's reach, when an unseen object either crashes or is thrown to the ground. Hodge is holding the camera and you can see his friend's elbow right before the scary noise is caught on video, so he's standing too close. Whatever caused this unexplained event can't be them. Plus, listen to how he later describes this creepy encounter caught on tape. Majority of the video, we were exploring the basement of this abandoned factory. We kept hearing noises, felt like something was following us, and lo and behold, something followed us and we were chased out the basement. I see no signs that he's lying, no deceit in his eyes, only enthusiasm at the thought of having a scary and maybe even paranormal encounter caught on tape, so I believe this creepy video is as real as he says. On April 5th of 2016, this mysterious UFO was seen hovering around the International Space Station at 7.23 in the morning during a NASA live stream. Yeah, I'll have to close out and open it back up again. A flat disk slowly rises on the blue horizon in the distance. It grows larger and larger and then appears to briefly invert itself while continuing to the surface. I have no idea what this thing could be, so please give me your best guess. As far as I know, NASA has yet to give an official explanation. Kloss finds something in his basement that's so scary. He has set up multiple cameras in his basement to try and capture it on camera. All he finds is this extra creepy layer of skin dried up against the wall. Listening to the sound the skin makes when touched is enough to make me want to peel out of my own. What in the world? He says it's juvenile, and I'd say that's a safe bet, since it can't be finished growing if it is still shedding its skin from time to time. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is a big snake. somewhere in my basement. You can see where the snake used the grooves between two stones to rub off its old skin and emerge even bigger than before. 
A Google search reveals snakes will come into the basement through basement cracks and even through drains. If you have any plumbing hooked up down there, once they're in, the only way to get them to leave is to remove them by hand or call for help. The description says it's over three feet long. Assuming he measured accurately, I'd say it's time to leave this one up to the pros. This old VHS footage was taken by construction workers during an interior renovation project in Corpus Christi, Texas. It's daytime and well lit, and the building still has a constant eerie vibe. They claim to have seen the ghost of a girl walking across the property, and the air grew cold around them, even though they are in the south. One of them records this mysterious noise coming from the hallway. It sounds like a moan from behind. Take a listen. He calls out for his friend Tom and picks up a strange whispering noise as he turns. Hey, Tom! He pauses outside of an especially dark room and feels watched by a presence within, a force that strips him of his bravery and leaves him small and vulnerable. He sees movements and bolts down the hall. I think I can see the outline of something in the corner here. When the room is brightened, could this be the ghost girl they were talking about? He decides to take one last look in the room and cautiously peeks inside. Rushing footsteps come from within and send him screaming off the job site. <coughs> when you enter a graveyard, you may not leave alone. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Scream Gaming writes, This was caught in a cemetery when we were leaving. All four of us got chills at the time, and it felt like something left with us. In the short clip, the group is heading out of the driveway of the cemetery. When you see a figure on the side of the road, According to the Redditor, they caught this creepy thing on video where in reality there was nothing, just grass and a telephone pole. Do you see it? Redditor Treadway 0311 does writing. There definitely was something there and then gone. But what was it? And where did it go? There's nothing like Russian dashcam videos. They're usually next level crazy. This video clip is no different. A red Volkswagen is seen cutting off the driver with the dash cam and another car in front of him. So when they reach a red light, the driver decides to rev his engine and pass the Volkswagen. Big mistake. After they pass him, the Volkswagen speeds up again to pull around the driver and cuts him off, blocking his way forward. Then a man dressed in black gets out of his vehicle to confront the dash cam driver. After a very brief exchange of pleasantries, the Volkswagen owner opens the trunk of his vehicle and reaches for a golf club. <laughs> Apparently, the faintest confrontation in Russia on the road can lead to brutal results, of your vehicle at least. Things have been known to quickly escalate on the Russian roads. A YouTube channel called Sanders Fam has a bizarre sighting on their Tesla motion tracking equipment that they think is a paranormal ghost encounter. <gasps> The dash icon displays a mysterious figure where none is to be found. Detecting invisible people is something their car has never done before, and is quite an odd coincidence considering they're passing through a cemetery at the time. It accurately detects two people a good distance away at 3 minutes and 39 seconds. It keeps happening on the same corner of the same block, the icon of someone riding a bike dashing away from them. There it is. They are getting creeped out and wonder what it is. That's when they realize around the corner is the final resting place of a YouTuber named Corey Lavery. They talk about him for a while and then as they drive away... There's nobody what? there. Now he's walking that way. Something walks by his grave. Now that is certainly a strange series of events. Throngs of people gather in the mountain province of Guizhou, China to witness strange trumpet sounds in the sky. As you listen, tell me what this is and why it would happen way out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> The 
the group hears four strange noises in a row, and yet none of them actually sees anything scary in the sky. But that's not all. The phenomenon known as sky trumpets is only the first phase. Soon the mountain range is filled with the sounds of a giant unknown creature, an enormous wildcat that's heard all over but seen by no one. <laughs> And the final phase sounds like two giant creatures clashing. There's a clear victor, and one of them sounds like they are falling from the sky. Modern science cannot explain what's behind these noises, which makes you wonder if there's any semblance of truth behind the various ancient mythologies that speak of similar events. Seeing something other than wild animals and nature in the forest is always creepy. So what if you saw this? James Jones published a creepy figure that he'd caught on video in the forest in June of 2012. He explained that he was currently making a homemade indie horror flick for which he wrote his own script. After setting up a prop ritual circle in the middle of the forest based off of research for his film, he ran some rehearsals and then headed home. He returned the next afternoon to film more. That's when he spotted this figure. In his own words, I don't have any explanation on what it is. The reason why this is so weird is because this figure is exactly where I had created the ritual circle last night. When he returned with his camera that evening, the figure had disappeared. From afar, it appears like a hooded demon wearing a black robe. It's unmoving. Will many in the comments believe it's just a tree or a stump? Others wonder if the uploader was reaping the consequences of setting up a ritual circle in the forest. What do you think it is? There's a scary haunted tunnel in Pakistan that MMTV wants to go exploring to see what creepy things he can find inside. Exploring a haunted tunnel in the desert at night by yourself. What can go wrong? Apparently a lot. A sparkling cloud of mist lingers around him, spirits he suspects. First it travels in one direction, disappears and comes back to guide him towards the tunnel. That's really weird, but some downright scary things are caught on camera when he goes to the entrance, like this red stain on the ground that shapes the outline of a person. Strange, unexplained lights give him pause, and you can say whatever you want about this freakishly deep laughter. It's not the wind. The wind doesn't blow tires. He gets out of there fast, not wanting to face whatever is haunting this strange place. And when he takes one last glance at the entrance, he spies movement from above. Something wants to follow him home. After all of these scary moments, I would say yes, this tunnel is haunted. Was this Chilean quake natural or extraterrestrial made? Published by Paranormal Planet in April of 2014, seconds before a tremor hit a coastal region of Chile, something was spotted in the sky. The short clip captures the Chilean coast. All is calm. As the cameraman scans the landscape, an unidentified aircraft shoots across the sky. A half-speed clip shows the object in more detail. It's tiny and black but has no other discernible features. It's simply moving too fast. After it passes, the earth immediately begins to shake. A girl hanging onto the fence sways back and forth and the cameraman appears to fall to the ground. Many in the comments don't think this was an unidentified flying object, and some don't even think it was a quake. Mary Coday suggests, 
There was a milli jet and it made a sonic boom or broke a sound barrier. Others think it was a bird. Is this real? Or is it all completely staged? We're left with more questions than answers with this one. It's 3 a.m. when this home security camera catches something weird on video. At five seconds, you can see strands of a spider web, but that's not what I'm talking about. Six seconds later, a bug breaks free of the web. It looks normal in flight, and only when it lands on the doorbell camera does it look kind of humanoid, like it might not be a bug after all. Tell me if you can see a vaguely human outline here at 13 seconds, or if you think this 3am sighting is nothing more than an overactive imagination. This poltergeist is about to throw down. Redditor What I Imagine shares this video of a very aggressive ghost. <laughs> Due to the poltergeist's aggression, I'm convinced that this isn't staged. How can anything but the paranormal act unseen with such aggression? Many in the comments think this video was staged with fishing line. Hmm, I don't know though. It looks pretty compelling to me. A YouTuber named Fazi Ki Danaya of Pakistan has caught some creepy things on tape while exploring a haunted building that used to be a school. <laughs> It doesn't take very long for the scary stuff to begin. His ghost meter detects a presence in this room shortly before the paranormal activity ramps up a lot and a window slams shut on its own. इस जगह पे जो भी चीज मौजूद है ये कैमरे भी घूमे जा रहा है ब्लर क्यों हो रहा है बार-बार क्यों ब्लर हो रहा है ये समझ में नहीं आ रहा मुझे a final loud crash sends him running out of the building to see what's making all of the noise. All he finds is a stray cat outside, which he suspects is a shape-shifting djinn because no cat would walk towards all that commotion. I'm not so sure about all that, but I do think it's strange how this classroom is the only place where weird haunted things get caught on camera. Exploring the rest of the haunted school reveals no other paranormal activity, just whatever's by this window. TT Mando posted this video in 2008 of his ninja cat chasing a ghost around the living room. In the description, he writes, I have never really been a believer in ghosts, but my wife and I have two cats that used to always go nuts seeing things that we could not see. They would howl at the lights in our dining room and chase things around that were not there. It was really weird, so my one cat starts going nutty one night like he is seeing something. So I decided to try and shoot some footage thinking maybe I can see what they are seeing through a camera. The video begins with the cat watching something floating in the air attentively. What is he staring at? While shooting the footage, the YouTuber switched between regular and night vision mode, which is when the ninja cat started climbing the walls. Literally. You can see that the cat has managed to climb to the top of a dresser and is looking up into the corner of the room. Whatever the cat has its eyes on must be moving all over the place because her gaze darts here and there. The cat then jumps down from its spot on the dresser to a scratching post. And then, as its eyes follow the invisible, it jumps up the wall and lands on the floor. It tries again, jumping up the door and managing to get its claws into the door frame. 
It looks up into the corner of the ceiling, its head still darting around. The cat hangs there for nearly an entire minute, seemingly enraptured by the ghost or spirit in its sights. Seriously, do you see anything there? Because I sure do. According to the YouTuber, a dot of light moved through the TV once he got his cat down from the door. The YouTuber points out the light that moves from the back to the front of the room. If you watch the video closely, you can see it too. The experience was, apparently, traumatic for this cat owner, who now sleeps with the covers over his head. A woman leaves her car unlocked and loses some personal items, including a set of keys, a a short time later, a man who she has never seen before comes to her front door and attempts to gain entry with her missing keys. Fortunately, none of the keys were the house key, and he quickly hurries off with nothing. This just goes to show how easily one incident can lead to another. If you ever experience anything like this, don't underestimate the persistence of those doing it. Sometimes the more clever ones will track you back to your house and try to do the same thing a second time. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by A Growing Lotus, filmed in the Inland Empire in Southern California, this redditor suspects these lights are a part of an unidentified flying object. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Are there, is there three of them? Keep recording it because that is weird. And the way they're moving like up and down, airplanes don't do that. Airplanes don't move up and down like that. And it's that. not a drone either. What? The other one's kind of disappearing. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Adventurous Ad2736 wondered if they were paper lanterns, to which the uploader responded saying, They move too fast up and down, and I don't think paper lanterns can do that. And Faded Claws YT wrote, It's probably just those drones people use for light shows and stuff, to which the uploader responded saying, They didn't look like drones in person, but who knows? They were extremely bright. You can't tell in the video, unfortunately, and they disappeared eventually. So which side are you on here? Paper lanterns, drones, or a legit unidentified flying object? Let me know in the comments. I thought I was hallucinating. Matt. And now the other one's like already disappearing. Going I'm having like a really Matt. weird deja vu feeling. Just go away now. But the other yeah, one's kind of they're disappearing. Like they're <gasps> Did they just disappear? There's one. one right there. Emergency workers gather outside of a room where something terrible has happened and lives were possibly lost. As the camera zooms in, it catches a scary looking figure peering back at them, its neck twisted so many times that it has become long and thin. The closer they zoom in, the more facial detail I see. Its face is half shrouded in darkness, but I can see the eyes, and it has tall black hair, or maybe it's simply a crack in the wall. A man is holding very still with his arm out at an odd angle. That's because he doesn't want to attract the wrath of this dangerous little fellow who somehow slithered into a scary situation. He is helpless as his friend carefully pinches his sleeve to determine where the snake is. He makes a cutting motion with his free hand to tell his friend what to do, not wanting to alert the snake with the vibrations of his voice. Once they carefully cut away the sleeve, you can see the snake is curled around his right bicep and in no hurry to leave. The mouth is right by his arm and it would take less than a second to strike with fangs. They wisely pull open the sleeve with the scissors to distract the snake and get its head away from his arm, but there's not enough room so they need to cut more. By now, the snake is getting upset, so with no time left, they reach in and scoop him out. I guess they could have done that the whole time, but it was much too risky to be a first option. Take a look at its markings and tell me what kind of snake this is. 
I'm guessing by the way they handle it with such extreme caution that it has to be venomous. A YouTuber named C. Codain is with a group of friends who are ready to explore an old creepy tunnel. They keep running out because they think they see something inside, but nothing shows up on camera until their fourth and final attempt. First, they hear it before they see it. It sounds a lot like the other rake videos in my opinion, but let me know what you hear. They remain at the mouth of the tunnel while the creature slowly walks towards them making those sounds all the while. They clearly get the creature on video once and for all but not without risking their lives first. The shrieking monster is all grey and stands upright like a human. It's hard to say whether this was their friend or an actual sewer mutant. Their reactions of excitement and disbelief sound real, at least compared to most other videos, so I'm inclined to believe this was an actual creature they spotted at random. A YouTuber named Advil thinks he is alone until he hears voices off in the distance. He soon finds himself drawn to the stairs leading down into the basement for reasons he cannot explain. Something just feels out of place down there, but he isn't sure what. He calls out and gets an incredibly strange and eerie reply from the darkness below. Maybe if you are wearing headphones, you can tell me what is being said here. It almost sounds like they are whispering, he's here. Hello? Moments later, Advil receives an undeniable confirmation that something is in the house with him. A dark figure somehow stands out against the pitch black background as it crosses the doorway. It makes no attempt to go up the steps and reveal its true form. If this is real, then whatever is down there apparently wants to stay down there and possibly one day take Advil with him. YouTuber Chad Miller found a secret room in the attic of his house. You don't see this every day, he writes. You certainly don't. It looks like Chad is just moving into a new house, and now the fun begins. It's time to explore it. Inside a closet, he finds a ladder-like stairwell leading into a secret hidden room. As he crawls in, you find that it doesn't look like any old attic, unfinished with cobwebs and stacked with unruly odds and ends. Instead, the attic looks well finished with wooden walls, light fixtures and a nice clean space. It's like a sauna but air conditioned, Chad says. It does in fact look like a sauna. The room is rather large, with all wooden walls and even a couple of wooden benches. What was this super secret room used for? We can only guess. All I know is that I wouldn't mind finding this secret room in my new home. A TikToker named Mark Anthony catches this strange activity at a post office after hours. Some kind of hanging display swings all by itself while an identical display stays still. I think it could just be blowing under an AC vent, but then again, in the very beginning you can see all of the other wall displays in the other doors stay still so it is weird that out of all of these only one moves are there paranormal happenings recurring in your home this youtuber can relate published to youtube by young boy lloyd in march of 2020 lloyd asks viewers for help as he believes there's a ghost in his home he shows video proof across a series of three clips the first part shows him watching something on tv when a plant falls over on its own accord and rolls off the entertainment center. When Lloyd moves to pick it up, it falls over again and he gets scared off by something unseen. In the next clip, he takes action, burning Sage to get rid of the ghostly presence. And as he does so, the chair at the end of the table starts moving. Lloyd doesn't notice at first, so the ghost forces him to, aggressively flinging the chair onto its side. In the last video, Lloyd says he's not going to allow a ghost to take over his house. As he's talking, a cabinet door opens behind him in the next room. A pot on the counter can be seen falling to the floor. Lloyd jumps up from his seat and tells the ghost to leave. He got to my wine with him. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
Did the ghost listen? I don't think so. When demons speak, you listen. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Regal. The Redditor explains that he and some friends listened back to the voice recording of an EVP when they heard this demon or spirit, which sounds like it's speaking directly into the recorder. In the recording, you can hear the group asking the spirit if he can let them know he is present. Just let me know you are here. See, it's a roach party over here. After asking this question a couple times, a clear voice is heard, and he wants one thing from the living. He wants them to get out. In the Reddit thread, Regal explains that a neighbor from his apartment complex in Reno, Nevada told him that he'd seen a tall shadow man in the mirror leering behind him. Then they experienced some poltergeist activity as a protein container threw itself across the room at them when they entered the neighbor's house. He suspected the demon also possessed his neighbor as the man kept blacking out only to awake standing in the corner of the room. The neighbor also suffered from Unexplained scratches on occasion. Redditor Jazzed Out writes, That sounds like a malevolent spirit to me and not a demon. And to add to this, demons are easier to identify when and if they speak because they will be speaking in a language called Aramaic, which is more difficult to understand. Demon or malevolent spirit, to be honest, don't know which is worse. Shadows can be tricky things. Sometimes they're natural. Other times they lean more towards the paranormal. This one seems to be the latter. Posted on Reddit by user Ukire, the Redditor writes that he still has goosebumps after receiving this clip. Some in the comments admitted to being upset with yet another orb post, but then, after watching it all the way through, their yearning for nightmare fuel was rewarded. Although it just looks like the still image of a cell, wait for it, and wait for it, and wait for it some more, and you just might be rewarded too. The Redditor wrote that his friend works the night shift here at this institution in a former police station. The room where this is filmed is not in current use, but in the past, was a place where people checked out of custody. Some in the comments say the video looks legit, others pointed out a creepy long face that makes a split second appearance. Most in the thread comes to a consensus that this happenstance is very creepy and goosebump inducing. Could it be a haunting, or something worse? Whatever it might be, it's certainly mysterious. The Crazy Red Show uploaded an odd sky sighting over the Hawaiian island of Maui that I think needs more coverage and further analysis. I'm filming that, bruh. I'm telling you, bruh, they're right there. Holy Lights in the sky have assembled into a strange formation that does not get closer or farther away, simply hovers without a sound. Looking back, the Crazy Red Show says he still has no idea what these lights were, describing the unexplained event as a surreal moment that, if he had to guess, might be a triangulating satellite system being launched. I admit, I don't have much of an idea of what a satellite system looks like, but I would assume getting launched involves movement of some kind. Like I said, these unexplained lights in the sky seem stationary and make for a strange sighting caught on tape indeed. Tell me if you think this is something made by us, because a lot of people think this could be video evidence of visitors from someplace far beyond our world. I personally think it could be flares from a government drill, but it's too hard to say. When you head into the middle of nowhere in search of a cave, you certainly aren't looking to meet strangers. YouTuber Lil Goofy says that whenever he goes to this place, nobody is there. Not this time. He published this video of the incident in July of 2019 writing, I brought a friend to see a rare cave in our local mountains that hardly anyone goes to. On our way up through a trail that leads to the caves, a stranger came out and waves at us. Then he pulled out what looked to be a big blade. So me and my friend ran since we didn't have any protection nor cell phones. In the video, the stranger is pointed out at a distance. He's dressed in black and the 
YouTuber notes that his hands are behind his back. When the pair realize that the man has a blade, they hightail it out of there as fast as they can. As they slow to a stop, realizing they both left their phones in the car, the stranger rounds the corner and they run off again, taking a left fork in the trail and wondering if the stranger knows the trail better than they do. After a while, they watch for their pursuer and catch him on video running up the trail. Finally, they make it back to their car in one piece. What were this man's intentions? Evil or not, this looked like it wouldn't have ended well. Posted in March of 2020 by YouTuber Steve Ronan, he explores what he describes as an old church that's been around for a hundred years, with power still on and with rumors of rituals still being performed there. Accompanied by paranormal investigators, Andrew, Steve and his team set out to explore this temple, which Andrew claims holds dark rituals inside. It's no great surprise then that demons supposedly haunt the place. They arrive on the scene of a truly spooky abandoned place at night, a cemetery surrounding it, overgrown with foliage. Inside the place, there's a door that leads beneath it, which reminds Steve of an abandoned place he previously explored with a tomb below. Opening the door, there appears to be firewood and mason jars down there. As they continue to explore, is in the temple, is that an overhanging light starts swinging. Supposedly no one touched it, they start to hear noise. Says, yeah, you were with us. Did you just hear that in the lane? Hello? Did you guys hear that? A scream that sounds like a little girl, a sound from the light which Steve describes like a spine cracking. What was that? Scream? That was like a little girl. Bro, the lights is moving back again. You didn't hear that? Yeah, the light just went. It sounded like it was like a spine cracking. They consider exploring the room below, but a load of spiders prevents them. As they continue around the temple, on the ground they find a pile of burnt books and some cards laid out. 666. Six, six. Another 6 is placed above, though Steve is unsure what it all means. As Andrew is messing about with an AM FM radio, Steve feels something on his back. He says he feels like there's a spider there. He removes his coat so that Andrew can check it out. There is no spider. But but two red marks streak across his back. The pair of scratches run from a top to bottom, as if he's been branded. Steve says it burns, and also denies having scratched it on anything. They wonder if it's a trinity mark. Some in the comments of this video suggest that he accidentally scratched himself when climbing under the chapel. Others think that it looks like two lashes from a whip. Brooklyn Girl 230, however, offers advice. Those mysterious scratches are a warning to you to stay far away from these places. Seems like the smartest conclusion to draw here. A ghost was seen in Banaras, India, walking across rooftops. The sighting scared many locals and led to a police investigation. Twitter user Banarasians tweeted this video of the incident. Did you see the figure? Take a closer look. So far, the police haven't discovered what the figure was or who was behind it. Maybe that's because it's absolutely real. What do you think? I'm on the fence with this one. A YouTuber named Lawrence Ryan takes off his shirt and throws it over a shelf. A while later, he returns to the area and now finds the discarded piece of laundry has somehow shifted into a face. This shift continues before his very eyes until Lawrence grabs a camera to document the paranormal event. The shirt takes the appearance of a grinning demonic face who is looking down into the left. If you don't see it yet, you soon will. The transformation is not yet fully complete. The camera goes out of focus very briefly as Lauren struggles to zoom in while walking closer. And when the camera corrects itself and comes back into play, the face is changed again. Pause at 1 minute and 47 seconds into the video and you will see it now has a very deep ceased brow, a sharp angular nose, and a strange expression that looks like a cross between a frown and a smirk. I really don't see how any of this is possible, but then again, if it's fake, then I don't know how.
how they did it either. The shirt is hanging from a shelf and should not hold any form at all. If they tried to somehow fold it into the shape of a face, I don't think it would stay like that for long. A paranormal investigator named Ankur Kashyap knows of a spooky house nearby that's as haunted as it is abandoned, or so the local legends say. He and his friends wait until after dark to explore the house to avoid getting caught and to increase their odds of getting a real ghost sighting on camera. They sneak over the gate and are too busy filming an introduction to notice their first paranormal encounter of the night in the form of a yellow ghost orb. Translate this part if you can because I feel like whatever he says is what gets the attention of the spirit world. So, I'm here with my friend Nikhil's colony and I'm here with a haunted house. This is a haunted house with my friend Nikhil. And look, Ankur even subconsciously leans away seconds before the orb touches him, almost like some part of him senses an unwanted presence is near. Meanwhile, a pair of oversized eyes of something, possibly a ghost in the window, appear at 2 minutes and 51 seconds as they head through a basement entrance. Down this creepy, narrow hallway is a hidden room that seems out of place and has no reason to be here. Something about the discovery freaks them out and they decide not to see what other secret rooms this small space holds. Instead, they go straight to the center of the house and perform some kind of ghost summoning ceremony with candles. Towards the end of the ritual, they sense a spirit slip into the room with them, and a mysterious shadow moves over them, or perhaps even through them, while at the same time the camera refuses to go back into focus. It's creepy, but I don't know why the camera person doesn't look over to get the ghost on camera. He misses the moment, so it's not exactly the best paranormal evidence ever, but the random moving shadow is pretty bizarre. And there's still one more odd encounter left. The group is soon surprised to find that the door refuses to budge, even though it's clearly unlocked, so either they are faking this movement, or else the haunted house is seriously refusing to let them leave. Just when the ghost hunters are getting anxiety and really starting to panic. <laughs> A ghost slams a door in the distance, something has left the building, and the place feels abandoned once more, at least for the time being. Their door is no longer locked and so the perplexed paranormal explorers take the hint and quietly let themselves out. They could have been pretending that the door was locked, however the ghost orb, the moving shadow, and the ghost slamming a door is all evidence of the paranormal in my opinion. Christmas is apparently a time for scary things caught on camera, according to one grumpy ghost who is not exactly in the holiday spirit. I'm not 100% convinced that this scary ghost video is real, but I have to admit it's awfully strange how their dog barks right before it happens. It sounds like the dog knows something is already in the house, something paranormal, or perhaps they are simply using a string. This video follows a Filipino ghost hunter who's exploring an abandoned hospital solo. At around 4 minutes in, as he's climbing some stairs, he hears high-pitched shouting. The Redditor who submitted this suggests its scream is that of either a child or a woman. The ghost hunter proceeds to explore the entire floor. All the while, you can hear the screeching in the background. As he nears one end of the floor, traffic is heard roaring out the window. Once silence has fallen again, the screaming can be distantly heard, and then at 7.15, very clearly and nearer. The sound is terrifying, but we never find the source. What do you think it could be? My best guess is something paranormal. <laughs> the 
This strange video has me doing a double take shared by TikToker Uaberm 1997 and originally shared by Bjoshua0902. The video shows a couple of partiers going down a water slide, but watch the second one closely. <laughs> It looks like a second pair of legs is sticking out to the side. Watch again. Is someone following closely behind the woman? It doesn't appear so. When she splashes into the water, no one pops up behind her. So what's going on here? The only explanation I can see is that there was another person following closely behind that somehow swam out of view during the splash, but I don't know. It sure doesn't look like that's what's happening. What do you think is going on here? If you've ever wondered who would win in a battle, a human or a ghost, you're about to have your answer. This clip was posted to Facebook in March of 2020. The footage shows a semi-transparent ghost throwing rocks and other items from under a bridge as other men enter the scene and see what's transpiring, one of them takes it upon himself to run at the ghost man and confront him. After a struggle with the man, the ghost comes out ahead. Many more men join in before the ghost man escapes and assumingly glides off to his ghost den. What's happening here? What did this ghost possibly want? This story needs a follow up. We've all played Call of Duty, but what's it really like to be on the front line? This first person footage will give you an idea. The Famous World published this footage in January of 2018. The video, which is 25 minutes long, is filmed from the perspective of the driver of the US Humvee. You can see more vehicles in front and someone outside guiding the driver to position the Humvee as a blockade. The driver tells his commander that the opposing forces are taking fire, which you can hear in the background. You're looking uh, south, right? Look where guns are firing. Kilo 05 is struck by. Can you give us this is the direction over? <laughs> the driver then hops outside and fires in the direction of the opposing forces. Following some back and forth, the driver arms himself and crosses the desert in open view to cover his brothers in arms, one of whom is hurt on the ground. They load the man into one of the Humvees, and then there's a good amount of running back and forth between the barricade and the Humvee. At some point, they load up to head off. It's unclear whether the opposing forces stood down, but what is clear is the scary standoff was handled textbook by these men. The goat man is a thing of urban legend, something like a centaur. The goat-human hybrid is said to take refuge in the woods. Some say it's responsible for many missing dogs. Published by Hype Mike in March of 2021, this paranormal crew is in search of the mythical creature in Goatman Forest. Half of them rush back to the cabin after hearing something out in the forest behind them, as the other half continue on. ginormous crack or something behind us. And we ran back to the cabin. <laughs> Wait, what? Something cracked right behind us. A huge tree or something. And we ran back to the cabin. They find red liquid in the snow. And I think we can all imagine what it might be. Did some animals have a scuffle? Or was it something else? After being scared off by the roaring, the crew comes upon some even more scary evidence that something's gone wrong. Just go, just go, just go, just go. This doesn't look like an animal's doing. Was it some ritualistic sacrifice? I mean, I guess. Like, there's like blood on the tree and shit. Ew, what the heck? Deeper in the forest, they hear this spine tingling howl. Uh, hello? Repeat that? Did you hear that? And once they gather together again, they realize an axe has gone missing. Did the goat man take it? The crew decides to invite the goat man to the party with this chant, and they really shouldn't have. Okay, ready? Ready? Goat man, goat man, we, we offer, offer our, our blood, blood to you. Please, please accept and show yourself to me. 
Is that it? Later, while they're chilling at the cabin, one of the crew hears something. Nickname? Uh, I hear something really freaking creepy, and I just need to know if you guys can hear that. No, I, well, I didn't hear anything. Here's well, we're inside. Yeah. Uh, we do not hear anything over. No. Then they see something outside. What is it? Although I'd wager it being the goat man, we currently don't know for sure. What's up? What's what? What? Did you see that? No. See what? Outside. Oh, wait. What the f is that? Turn the light off. This video was taken from a waiting station at the Islamabad International Airport in Pakistan. Any strings attached to this chair would be easy to see on the bread and reflective cement floor, but I don't see any, and the chair slides across the room without anyone in sight. It looks like it might be getting pulled by someone off camera here at the 33 second mark, but then it does a 360 all of its own somehow, so that theory is pretty much debunked. There's also no way for magnets to work from beneath a solid concrete floor, so I have no idea how this was done. Redditor HD Gun posted this footage to the ghost subreddit. The video shows a semi-transparent figure rush past. The figure is short in stature and appears to enter from behind some plants near the home's fence. Of course, Redditors have some theories. While I'm not sure that I agree it's a parrot, I do think it's an animal. You can see there's a blur, smudge, or lens flare on the lower portion of the camera, which is probably why the figure looked blurred, but to me the figure looks like it's walking, not flying. Well, it could very well be paranormal. The way it's moving looks like how a monkey walks to me, so I'm thinking now there's a possibility it's a wild animal, but why would it look like this on camera? I want to know what you think about this interesting paranormal video posted by Dark Aloos. First, two pieces of his overhead vent fall off, but when it happens, the camera freezes. So is this an electronic interference from spirits, or is it poor editing? Next, this chair turns all by itself. It's by a window and behind a table, and therefore far out of reach. Perhaps eeriest of all are these two legs with no upper reflection. You would logically assume this is Dark Lou's recording, but if it was, as one commenter points out, then where is the rest of him? These are the home videos of two of the most evil Canadians ever. Paul Bernardo and Carla Homoka. The pair are a husband and wife team who took at least three lives in the early 90s. Although these home videos show the couple's normal everyday life, their wedding day, celebrating holidays, etc. Investigators were haunted by the secret home videos of the pair committing horrific acts. After a plea bargain in which Carla claimed to have been an unwilling accomplice, she was sentenced to only 12 years, while Paul received a life sentence. However, the videotapes that came out after the plea agreement showed that Carla had been much more active in the events than she had claimed. Subsequently, the Canadian press called her deal with prosecutors, the deal with the devil. Carla was released from prison in 2005. She's now remarried and lives in Quebec. A team of cryptid hunters make a wild discovery deep in the woods of North Carolina. In the Uari National Forest is where they find a mysterious imprint that extends 13 inches long. They think this is not a footprint but a handprint with oversized knuckles at one end and a wide base of the palm at the other. Hey guys, I'll show you what we just found. We got us a 13 inch tracker just a little over. We sure did. We got toe prints. We got the break in the middle. Right here. Yes, sir. 
I kind of see what they mean, but I'm not sure if this is from a cryptid or not. It kind of looks like where a rock could have been or something. I'm also wondering why there aren't any prints to accompany this alleged handprint, but at the same time, I don't have a solid explanation for what caused this, and was wondering what you think about this extra creepy sighting in the woods. Well guys, so far we've found what looks like to be either handprint or knuckle prints again. And we just come across this track right here. So that's awesome. That is awesome. Dennis of Dark Ghost Paranormal is at his breaking point in this scary video. Published in March of 2022, Dennis encounters the most terrible demon in this haunted abode. Dennis conducts an EGF session with a horned skull facing a mirror. It tells him, you let him out. <laughs> After asking what he should do, the skull requests a ritual. He's told to burn it and take it to the swamp, otherwise the demon will follow him. He is also told that the demon is here. Dennis creeps around the house searching. He doesn't need to look far. Dennis is later dragged across the room by his heel. After regaining his feet, he calmly takes in the entire disaster zone. Then an object under a big draping robe moves toward him. Is this the demon? He'd better get to that ritual. I have a feeling there is worse to come. A YouTuber named Chase on Two Wheels is riding around Atlanta, Georgia with a friend when two strangers approach and ask a lot of direct questions. Huh? What kind of bike? Yeah. The men immediately back off when they learn he is recording with a helmet cam. That's when Chase's friend notices something is very wrong. One of the men never takes his hand out of his pocket, and when they review the footage, they see what appears to be some kind of firearm. Maybe they are jumping to conclusions, but there's just no way to know what would have happened next if the men didn't notice Chase was recording. Based on what you've seen here, let me know if you think they really were armed or just making friendly conversation. For those of you who haven't heard or don't remember, on August 13th, 2018, a man named Chris Watts made national headlines after taking the lives of his two daughters, Bella and Celeste, and his wife Shanann, who was 15 weeks pregnant. Two police investigators and a special canine handler now searched the Watts residence on August 14th, one day after Shanann was reported missing. They are confident that their dog will be able to sniff out any DNA evidence that Chris Watts may have tried to scrub away. What they find instead is an abundance of paranormal evidence as recorded by their chest-mounted camera. Like this part where I hear the unmistakable laughter of a child as they pass through Bella's room at 12 minutes and 32 seconds. Listen for yourself, there's no denying it. I'm hoping that was a motion activated doll or something, but I doubt it, especially given what else they hear in the next room over. A voice says something like, I have CC, which is short for Celeste, and they are standing in the room of Celeste too. Then again, I think it could be the canine handler saying something under her breath as she checks the closet, so maybe it's not paranormal after all. Things get weird once again as they enter the garage. Another voice, a woman this time. But it could be the officer whispering something to herself. Moments later, they pass by these containers in the garage. Containers Chris was believed to have used to transport the bodies from the house into his truck. The dog sniffs them, but everything looks clean. Down in this area. 
as they are walking away, they record this. It's a wail of agony coming from all directions at once. But that's not all. The most compelling evidence occurs in the very beginning, but I've saved it for last. Check out the top of the stairway on the left when they first enter. There is some movement that I find very strange. It could be a trick of the light playing across the rails, but I see a little girl rushing down the steps. A girl with a short haircut. She vanishes before she reaches the bottom. And this event also coincides with a shadow figure sighting recorded by police on a different night after the home security alarm mysteriously went off on its own. It's in the same area and roughly the same size as before. A poor girl lost looking down at the entrance and disappearing before she reaches the bottom of the stairs. A YouTuber named Sammy Pena is waiting in the car alone when a total stranger walks up and tries to open all of her doors. I think this is far from an honest mistake because listen to how hard he pulls on the handle. He was really hoping that someone didn't shut their door all the way. But the real giveaway is how he doesn't even try to unlock the driver's door. He probably knows from experience that this door is almost always locked and not worth bothering with. Between her tinted windows and sunglasses, he seems not to notice anyone's in the back seat at all. He casually walks away empty handed, at least until someone forgets to lock their doors. If you think you see someone that others don't, you may be right. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Christina7658, the Redditor explains that a friend that works at a subway in South Texas recorded this footage from a security monitor after a co-worker kept seeing a cowboy who apparently wasn't really there. The bad quality of the footage is due to the fact that this happened more than 10 years ago. This is what the pair found when they reviewed it. A shadow figure is seen rising from the ground near the entryway. The mist like figure appears to hover for a moment before making its exit through the window. This has most in the comments freaked out, with Typeractive Audi stating, You can see his hat. I won't sleep tonight. Other Redditors like JCKCS Mama debunk the all too common insect on the lens theory by stating that the anomaly doesn't appear from the edges of the camera frame, as one might expect a crawling insect to. Instead, it seems to come directly from the ground. Christina also states that the the anomaly appears to take on the window tint as it exits the building. She also notes that the worker who kept seeing the cowboy had seen it throughout her entire shift. There used to be another video of her washing dishes, and a black blob like the one in the video is next to her. Although she couldn't find the other video, the combination of events has many leaning towards the paranormal. Others suggest that corruption of the videotape or the camera's hardwire issues could be a more practical explanation. But is that what you're seeing here? Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.